All right, everybody, welcome back to PGA Tour 2K23, and we are fresh off of a win. Uh, if we check the schedule, we won the Gen no, the Northern Shore Open. Not really a big tournament, and you know, uh, we did win by quite a bit, six shots. Um, unfortunately, it comes off the back of two really, really poor um, tournaments. Uh, tied for 17th at level par and tied for 28th at plus two um, but before that we did have a couple good ones second and third but before that in the our first big tournament we were tied for 33rd at plus five um, I think this is the one I just couldn't couldn't get anything going and had some weird stuff going on so. but before that again second second and tied for third so Overall, we're not doing too bad. No missed cuts yet or anything like that. Um, oops. Now, this is a 72 hole event. We, our rival is Brooke Henderson. Um, so, yeah, let's get it started. See if we can keep the high from the win. UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside major champion Rich Beam in the booth, and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak, who's out on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, great to be here. As this event kicks off, our feature group consists of two players who appear to have entered into quite the rivalry. Well, this week, Henny, it looks like they're intending to beat the big-hitting Brooke Henderson. She might be a kind Canadian, but certainly a fierce rival. Yeah, she's not going to say sorry. Just make sure you don't look in her trophy cabinet beforehand because you might get intimidated. There's some big major championships in uh, there. Brooke Henderson, practiced long. speaking of big, hits it big, got big game, <laughs> and is just so lovely on top of it all. I, I almost don't want her to be beaten. Yeah, she's a born winner, isn't she, Brooke Henderson? This is going to be a tough rivalry, but one if you can win will certainly build your confidence. Seems like they've got an abundance of swing thoughts going on there. Perhaps paralysis by analysis. Whatever that means. From about 100 yards. Um, we can probably use the loft, loft wedge and loft it up there. Let's take a practice swing. Mm, that wouldn't have been too bad. Let's try not to get that pull in there, though. That swing looked a little no jerky pull, from where I'm fast. sitting. And here we are with their four. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, You've got to make a good putt here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. All right, bogey on the first, so but an awful, to begin the round. awful drive but and for a little nervy fast out there wedge. So far. The second hole is a long par three, old typical Redan style at 230 yards. Yes, the green runs from right to left and chases away from the player on the tee. You can hit it short right and have it bounce on to the flag six that are on the right. However, when they're in the back left, you don't want to come up short and left in a low area. That'll leave a very difficult up and down. Oh, that was perfect. Our high, we can hit the hybrid so good. Unfortunately, this was a... This is always going to be a really tough one to get close. Could have been worse. A chance for a birdie if this Come goes back down. To about right there. God. Look at that break. These putts what really the add up at the end of the day. Right on 12 feet. This is what they have left for par here. Oh no, that and first putt was a little weird. That's back to back bogeys now. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. A little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if he can bounce back. Rich, the first exposure to the famous lake here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge is the third. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of. 
but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. Oh, she's taken the lead in this rivalry, but can she hold on to it? Oh, that Ooh. one just missed the hole. Yeah, that mighty shot was certainly worth a move up the leaderboard. Let's see what it's done. All right, we got First back one of them. Let's get back hole. another. Yes, Luke, par you get five. Out of bounds on the right hand side that shouldn't come into play for the oh, players, oh, but no, those bunkers on the left hand side certainly will. Okay. We're back if in the fairway. You get a good tee shot away, and you find the fairway. The second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. How? I swung that so slow. Pretty good shot there. And here we are with the third shot. He's two shots back. Oh, wow, that stopped up. What do we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She's currently one stroke better than her rival and playing partner today. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Hated well, it, but made it. I think that the player needs a little bit of a boost after that. A spot in the top ten on the line here, if they can hold this. Oh, wow. Uh, a bit lower on that one. They're breaking well, a lot more part. than we'll move inside the top 20 if you previous. Um, well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. Courses. And some now of the courses. Is enjoying a one-shot lead. Um, the ones that are a little... Not short, but you know, shorter like that. Um, they don't really break. The fifth at Bay Hill is the shortest par four on the front nine, measuring just under but 400 yards. Rich, placement of the tee. That one broke like. Here. It is. It Almost plays straight feet. downhill the entire way, so most players not taking mm. driver out and challenging those bunkers lay up short of those, and you'll have a short shot to a green that once again chases away from you at the back end of it. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. Ah. Uh, that's out to the right for the sure. The slow was fine. It was just the push. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Yeah, uh, it's just this the approach This would be a momentum shots. saver here, getting this up and down. Ah. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. That's well no, it's, it's the same thing we've, we've been having. It, starting out, the approaching, the approach shots are just not what they Trailing need to be. Four strokes. Now we head to the famous par five, sixth rich. Oh, the one Bryson uh, almost, eagle. I wouldn't say almost drove. Out stroke, to the but, right, most definitely the widest know. part of the fairway, just left of the left-hand bunker out there. We'll leave a layup out to the right, and then you just have a short pitch on from there. This is a really solid birdie opportunity. Hmm. Well, I think they're attacking this one, taking it on in two. I like their style. Fast? This golf ball could go sinking All to right. the bottom. Alright, there's no way that was fast. Taking aim from about 180 yards. Some of these shots, shots, shots I have the been place. going so slow. This one is headed to the right. Please don't tell me you have four strokes off the lead. They have the uh, kind of same thing they had wrong in the other one where your tempos were different. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Ooh. I don't want to drop any more shots. Let's make this for double. Come on now. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Needed it. Needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's have a look at the seventh hole of par three. 
Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Well, she's taken the lead in this rivalry, but can she hold on to it? Didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. That uh, might be too hard. I was pulled. That's disappointing. This putt of about seven feet to the hole. This for par. And there it is. Sitting at three I'm still for the day. Furious and about that. that. Good play, moving up the leaderboard. Hybrid. There's no way that was fast. Right, Rich, uh, challenging tee shot and approach. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. That's just inside the range. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Hold it. Okay. Oh, that's a ripper. We need to well, get that it under was par. a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Let's take a look at the final hole on the front nine, the ninth, and what a tough tee shot it is. It is it ever. Players want to avoid the bunker down the left-hand side, so inevitably they push it out to the right-hand yeah, side, that's what I did. into the rough, into the trees. Now they've got really very little chance of reaching the green in two. So this is probably the most difficult tee shot on this front nine, and one they have to find the fairway with. Going with the hybrid. This one is didn't headed towards back. the nasty stuff. It didn't come back. Well, they wanted to hit the fade, and unfortunately, they didn't. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. And this one will be for Tell me, man. And now over For some reason, to these Brooke things Henderson's are the shot. ones that she don't show any break, or not any, but the ones that aren't showing and too much break hole, are, are breaking twice as much as I right think. Now. Well, Rich, this player is nine holes into this event. How would you rate their performance in this rivalry Awful. that they've struck up with their playing partner? Two bogeys well, and a double. It's early, Luke, but the player is trailing their rival, which you never like to have happen. I'll be interested to see how this player changes up their game in order to try and chase down the rival by the end of the day. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Sitting at three over. I need to check the speeds of these greens. Maybe they're a lot Let's faster than the, the right other ones. Call. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. No, you know what? That deserves a golf clap. They're pretty much the same. And you'll be proud of that one. Good way to bounce back from the bogey at the last. What do we catch up with Brooke Henderson? It's been so tight. She's tied here with her rival. And can really? she pull ahead now? And how did that great shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. The par for 11th resembles the par for third, doesn't it? The big lake on the left-hand side. It does. It just has a little more landing room here on the left-hand side, however. But if you lay back, be prepared to go in with a long iron. If you take the driver out and successful, you now turn this challenging hole into almost a birdie I opportunity. I pushed it. And I aimed it out over that here because our lie was going to the left. Too far right for my liking. Damn it. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. What a shot! I mean, Almost look at that. The bucket. 19 feet to the hole. Yeah, except it rolled got this probably 30 feet. ahead of Brooke Henderson. This rivalry could get interesting here. Hold it. 
Okay. And that out. one didn't break. Interesting. In she goes. Let's head to the next. I can't stop getting bogeys. Trailing by five shots after that hole. And the 12th hole, Rich, similar to the 4th hole. Arnold Palmer has really started to mimic front and back nines. He does. It's kind of the same thing. Out of bounds, out to the right. you got to avoid both those bunkers there, both right and left. You find the fairway. Again, second shot <laughs> Look slightly Look how little of a push that a was, but it was 30 yards the to the right. The big here, though, is going long. That is a big no-no uh, to miss sorry, it 20 long yards. on this 12th. And if this doesn't, nope. Playing their fourth shot, five shots off the pace. I'm gonna say if this doesn't get yeah, that's a close. Touch of class. Oh, it's a par Terrific five. I forgot. Chip. Love watching this player around the greens. And with that effort, now three over for the day. Number thirteen, not a long hole by anyone's stretch, but the pond in front of the green really plays havoc. It does more so than it should. It's just a long iron oh, wow. hybrid off the tee. Find the fairway down the right-hand side. I didn't think. Side, open up the okay. angle for your I second shot. I de it so and much. It's obvious you just don't want to miss your second shot right. So bail out to the left-hand side. Make a par. Pretty simple. And what? back to the course with the live action. Man, with how short this Setting hole is, the green isn't actually rough. too tough. You're not looking at par. Unless you did what I did. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, so oh, close. And down it goes. I just now want to get to level par by the end of the tournament, but and another of the uphill par I don't think that's going to happen. 14th, Rich. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers, but if you bail out to the right, well, now you're it's running uphill. into a low area. I lofted you have it, a pretty difficult and it flew further than 100%. Historically, is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. Whatever. I'm just gonna start and chipping. This shot from the bunker. See, this is and this is kind of what the devs do. They force you to do, to use stuff that you're not supposed to use in the game. Time now for the because shot. it's Five shots ridiculous. Didn't that look good for a long time? And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's two strokes ahead in this group rivalry today. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. And that's now five over for the round. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Could Getting be our first miss cut, here fellas. Bay Hill, the 15th, the par four. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. I Not did. only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Always a tough shot to get out of. They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Best bunker technique is this chipping. This is 16 feet to the hole. Solid little par putt here. There it is. Now eight shots back after that hole. Well, one of the great parts of the finish here of Bay Hills Club and Lodge Ridge is the fluctuations in scoring, and it all starts here at the par 560. Whatever. Luke, you got to take advantage of this par 5. It's just over 500 yards. Find the fairway. Don't flirt with either of those bunkers out there. Second shot should be with a middle to long iron to a green that's surrounded by water on the left and bunkers on the right. But still, it's a great opportunity to make four or better. That was slow. I guess it needed to be. What, the, what kind of bullshit is that? Oh, but this doesn't come back down? Up. Okay. And the putt goes down. A nice display of resilience in the end. In trouble off the tee in that fairway bunker with that putt saves the par. Well done.
I love when you can a long way from the hit a chip here. Work to be done. and it rolls 60 and foot that effort, this off is how the green. Field is shaping up. The par 317th Rich has got a wonderful atmosphere around it. Looks visually quite stunning, but my word, it's a brute. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole in the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. There's no doubt about this rivalry. It's certainly heating up. That has moved them within touching distance of their rival. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Rich, as we head to the finishing hole here at Bay Hill, a famous finishing hole. So much drama over the years, predominantly by the great Tiger Woods. But most of the drama starts off the tee. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls really? land. So players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right Whatever. or even out on the left-hand side. There's Most no way it's 20 yards in short. Mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. That was special. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 11 feet from the cup. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. That signs off on this player's performance. Man, the every... Day. Every single time we play good, we just come back bet, and play the worst three to go. ever. Let's see how I, I don't breaks. understand it. Well, that's all we've got time for today on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey. And it does seem like the transition time, if that's what it is, whatever the, the fast and slow, changes because I was swinging the hybrid and the irons fast but I was pushing the stick forward so slowly today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin pleased you could join us for this second round action I'm Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich this next golfer starts their round what do you think about their chances today I went back by a couple, Luke, and so they really have a great opportunity to go out and chase down the leaders by day's end. It's a good opportunity, good scoring conditions today. I'm looking forward to the action. Well, it's all set up for an exciting event. Can't wait to get into this. This would be a great up and down from this spot. I was going to say it'd be great just not to get in the you bunker. I don't mind this part, part. Oh, that was such a good stroke. So it'll be a par to start their round. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole played. Time to tee we off need to get to five second. under at least, but I don't think I'm going ten under on this round. Hmm. Damn Looks it. to be going with a hybrid here. There's just so That's much of a, a gap shame. between our four Had and a five. To hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Wynn got that one and took it wayward. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She had a bad previous hole, came off with bogey. Just didn't drop. And now we can take a look at how that wonderful play affects the leaderboard. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or put it in the water. And feet left to the hole. I, I love how they've said this is the hardest hole in the course. 
and we birdied it both days in a row. Yet we can't get a, and now we can't buy a damn birdie when we need one. Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals, scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. This is Brooke Henderson. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. You've arrived at a par five. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Getting ready to play their third. Mm -mm. And this is what's so tough. Is it okay? Yeah. The partial pitches, man. Because that this would have be right either been down. a partial pitch or a partial flop, and none of them are easy. We pulled it. Oh, if we hadn't have pulled it. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that's another Probably thing. We I don't think we birdied a single par four, par five, in the first round. You've arrived at a par four. I think with all par fours and par three, I think we only have like had like two. Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the fifth. They've chosen to club down on this one. This is the right decision. Wow, very aggressive play on this approach, putting some pressure on their rival, Brooke Henderson. Oh, oh, say, now we can't make these shot. putts. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. No, it does not. It looks small. All of them are very chasing small. Tiger once again as we move to the next. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Beautiful swing there. Stop. Henny, do you have a better look at this line? Yeah, we're not going to go no, for it this, this time, I guess. This is unfortunate. I will lay so a little, a good ways fairy, back. But sitting really down. That way we maybe will have a full pitch. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah. Actually, it's perfect. Uh, now when you pull it and hit it fast. Didn't end up too oh, bad, though. We right just got to make a putt. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Here's Brooke Anderson. Oh. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, Ooh, a thank God. birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. That's the, I think that's I the like first it. par five with birdie. Oh, he's feeling it. He's currently tied for 10th. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's see what happens here on the 7th. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good 6-5 iron oh, from 195 yards. I knew that was slow. It's still a difficult task. But luckily, we pulled it, it like crazy. <laughs> and this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Did we hit it? No. Uh, it'll be a good result. I know it didn't go down, but it's just a tap in awaits. With, and as we honestly, along, with how bad I hit that tee shot, I'm fine. With the, uh, a tough two -shotter, with the a par. Long par four. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, oh, kicking the golf wow. ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take that one went last a club really long ways tee. to the right. From there, you for hitting make a sure fast. that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Oh, you mean like this? And that one's <laughs> headed to the drink. Man. And here we are with their feet. People said the physics of the ball were way better in this, but those bounces just there. I've never seen a ball bounce like that before. That's some good golf right there. This one's for bogey. 
and all of our hard work well, that a good line? gone. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this part ten feet from the cup. Yep. Back to back yeah, birdies we'll wiped just like that. Our leader is enjoying a three stroke advantage. Because the ball bounced We've somehow it just bounced like straight up in Time the air and then straight left. Left is fine, but I don't know, those bounces were a little bit odd. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Going with the nine iron, I think. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. What do we catch up with? Brooke Henderson. She's two strokes behind her rival this week. Butting for birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. 11 feet to the cup. If it's up, it could be in. Ouch, that hurts. How did it break that much with the speed we had on there? Come on now. Uh, that's got to be frustrating. It's such a great The lines were barely in, moving. But wasn't able to convert. And as we transition into the back nine, Rich, what are you seeing out there so far? Well, wow, these <laughs> these leaderboards are awful. Player, get the best Every single time rival. there's a leader, they're it's ahead by like five. Still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Not bad. Second shot here at the tenth. It was not that slow. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. And coming up well short. He has this putt to save his par. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really no, it hasn't. Shot today. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. <laughs> and now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And the entire field looks up at that familiar sight and sees the name of Tiger Woods on top. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. And he, he's seven sure shots ahead of third. Oh, of course. Not that somehow went 20 yards right. Bunker, but a chance to make amends. Oh, that's disappointing from one bunker to the next from the sand looking to get up and down <laughs> Playing their fourth shot This putt just five feet away from the hole this is a must-make, guys. They've got this for bogey. Yeah. Didn't really try on the last hold. three shots, to be honest. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot, currently in top spot. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. That was wonderfully done. Playing from around 230 yards. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. Taking a right at the light. This is not what they want. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Has to put this one downhill. Okay. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. I love it when it just switches completely on what that's you have to chance. do with the putting. Yeah, putting downhill nice. before putting you need surface. to move it down. Hit it with the vibration. Oh, gee, that line of was course. looking good, wasn't it? It's was fucking putting stupid. For a bogey. And that putter's hold and that means it's back to back bogeys on Every single time Two you have a downhill a putt row, in this game, I side. have to move it down now so much. A little defensively to hit it where the vibration is, what or else it's going by by 20 Brooke feet. Henderson. I do She's that this time, and it's short by 10 feet rivalry. somehow. Let's see what happens. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. 
Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. And surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the third hole. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, what a wonderful bunker shot. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That should find the cut stuff. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. That's not the shot they're after. This would be a great up and down. Playing their fourth shot. Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. Great touch. And it's Tiger on top of the leaderboard. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey. But here's an opportunity to bounce back. That a boy. Good shot. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Going with the hybrid. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Getting ready to play their third. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Now, if he can just roll this one nicely, he'll manage to get ahead of Brooke Henderson. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Nicely hold, and for par. I will take that and a spot the top 10 to boot. Our current leader now enjoying a nine stroke lead. We've arrived at a par four hole. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera is pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Second shot here on the eighth. Going with the eight iron here. Yeah, this is lovely. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 20 feet from the cup. Oh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Was that a good line? Let's try and make this one. Only dropped the one shot. And a very familiar sight. Tiger Woods on top of the leaderboard. This one should find the rough. That's a heavy lie this player has drawn. Going with the seven. Just needs this one to kick right. Not a bad play, that one. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, that's a sensational putt to make. And what about the glimpse they just gave their rival? Come and catch me now. And let's have one more look at that shot. 
Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. So as we head into the back nine, Rich, what are your thoughts on this player? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, no one likes a plug lie. Really, just getting it out of the bunk is a big deal here. And he needs this to save par. That was a gallant attempt. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Sitting at 10 over for the event. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Let's head over to the 15th hole, shall we? Let's take a look at HV3. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one might roll into the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. He's got this for his part. Now with the honour on a par five. That's an awful error. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. They're in the bunker, but a chance to get up and down. And he's down there. You got a read? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. Our leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. Next up is this par four hole. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Second shot here on the 13th. Going with the pitching wedge here. So I might need to sit. Well, it's found the surface, but that's about as much as you can say about it. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. Oh, just missed. Well, that's a bit disappointing. That gets the job done. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. We have a par three on this one. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And the entire field looks up at that familiar sight and sees the name of Tiger Woods on top. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. Yeah, a bit long on that one. This putt is of nine feet. Solid par putt, that. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Rich, good chance to get this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. 
be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. He finds himself at a share of 14th position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. And if this can go down, he'll save par. John, what's going on out there? Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 16th. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. He's currently tied for 13th. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Tee shot is looking good here. Playing from around 160 yards. Puff of wind blowing right to left for him. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. It's a decent fairway to hit this one. Not sure if they'll find it, though. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Time now for the fourth shot. And that brings a close to this event. All right, guys. Sorry. Oh, what a shot that was. I Why don't we revisit I cut match? out most of this crap because I played so bad. And I really don't understand how. Like, we just came off of a win where we went 8 under, 8 under, I think like 2 under. I well, can. Unfortunately, not able to secure back to back victories here, but you've got I to mean, be impressed would, with the performance overall. Like, great the last, Luke, like, this player did everything six, to see back to back wins on the PGA Tour. Unfortunately, but, coming up just a touch short. I don't know. Still, and plus, awesome look weeks. at the stupid leaderboard minus 16. And, and then second the place is minus two. It's goodbye for now. What the hell is that? Yeah, no. Oh, wow. We did so poorly that whatever we have Taylor made just wasn't like, nah. We still somehow beat Brooke Henderson because we had way more birdies. We both had an eagle. Even though we're the, we were the same. Um, oh, yeah, because... Well, with Stableford... After a bogey, doesn't... Don't you stop with points or whatever? I don't know. That's something else I'm thinking of. But, yeah, it's just... I couldn't keep it all in. Oh, we got our stuff. We got this ping putter. Actually looks pretty cool. And some sketcher shoes. I used to have sketcher shoes, but I played and it it just poured down and they got ruined. Oh Titleist dropped us. Whatever Titleist, I don't care. I don't want tattoo. Oh, but the next one is the player, so we can be awful in that. Our next rival, though, is Colin Morcali. He's 25 third in the FedEx Cup rankings, so he's one behind us, and he turned pro in 2019. We get his hat and putter. But, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the last couple of holes, at least, of the last one, so, yeah. Uh... Have a good day. We'll see you.